if function in Google Sheets. It's one of the most common function that I use in my daily practice. Hey, my name is Gala. I am a Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gallery Reports. On my website, you can find a lot of useful information about Google Sheets, Looker Studio, and some templates for marketing. It's already pre-built pre template uh, for Looker Studio that you can use. But let's come back to Google Sheets. So if function, if it is a logical function, and uh, it is super simple function and super powerful because you can use it uh, for a lot of cases. Uh, we have three options here or three parameters. Logical expression, what happens if it is true and what happens if it is false. It's super simple. For example, I can say if uh, channel is email. If it is correct, please write one. If it is not correct, write zero. Zero, because this B2, it is not email. But if I copy this function to next row, this channel is email and we have one. So it is one. Uh, what is nice here that actually we can write uh, any complex. So this is a super simple example, but we can write anything uh, more complex. For example, I want to find unique channels uh, and I can say, instead of typing email, I can say this, if b2 equal cell, then one or if it is not. So in this case, here could be another formula, here could be whatever and we have link to exact cell and uh, if we write something here something different here we will receive other or oh, instead of one and zero in answer we can type yes or no also so we can have like text uh, expression so we already have two links here and also we can add links here for example if we like new channel name and if we want to say if it was like page social or organic um, um, so or page search we want to use only page we want to group our channels uh, in this case we can say okay if and we can add new channel column for example and we can use formula if channel equal uh, paid social then please call it paid if it is not keep it is like this in this case uh, we can use f or to fix our column and like this uh, and in this you can see that only when we have paid social it will change it to paid uh, and for others, it will keep other channels as it is. So this is a common case how to group, for example. Um, and you see that we have here like two options, page social and page search. How can we deal with this? Um, we can use the same if function uh, and we can use it more complex way to include one function into another. In this case, it will look like this. So our function, if b2 is page social, please use this page. And instead of false number, false value, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, we can use one more if function. We can start to write again, if b2 equal this, Please use this. Otherwise, um, keep it we had before. So we can include one if function in inside to another. And uh, this is super nice trick um, because you see we had page search here, and when I apply new formula here, we have page. And when we will do pivot table from we can use this new channel and have more uh, bigger group of our channels. 
Um, so I think that is it about this. Um, usually you should understand the difference between if, ifs. So because we have, we wrote it one into another, uh, but we have also ifs function. It's similar to if you had and function and or function, like full logical functions. Uh, all of them I use daily basis uh, with in different combinations. There are some little, like some difference between um, when should when I choose which function to use. If you are, if you need more information about these functions, check other videos from this series. I have uh, five videos with a uh, detailed explanation for each function. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like this video. Don't forget to to like this video, and talk to you soon.